Music is an art form, social activity or cultural activity whose medium is sound and silence. The common elements of music are pitch, rhythm, dynamics, and the sonic qualities of timbre and texture. Different styles or types of music may emphasize, der emphasize or omit some of these elements. Music is performed with a vast range of instruments and with vocal techniques ranging from singing to rapping, and there are solely instrumental pieces, solely vocal pieces and pieces that combine singing and instruments. The word derives from Greek mu o micron upsilon sigma iota caparator. In its most general form, the activities describing music as an art form include the production of works of music, the criticism of music, the study of the history of music, and the aesthetic examination of music. The creation, performance, significance, and even the definition of music vary according to culture and social context. Indeed, throughout history, some new forms or styles of music have been criticized as not being music, including Beethoven's Gross Fuge in 1825 and early jazz in the beginning of the 1900s. There are many types of music, including popular music, traditional music, art music, music written for religious ceremonies and work songs such as shanties. Music ranges from strictly organized compositions, through improvisational music such as jazz and aleatoric 20th and 21st century forms of music. Music can be divided into genres and subgenres, although the dividing lines and relationships between music genres are often subtle, sometimes open to personal interpretation, and occasionally controversial. For example, it can be hard to draw the line between 1980s hard rock and heavy metal from that same era. Within the arts, music may be classified as a performing art, a fine art or as an auditory art. Music may be played or sung and heard live, heard live as part of a dramatic work, or it may be recorded and listened to on a radio, MP3 player or CD player or as part of a film or TV show. In many cultures, music is an important part of people's way of life, as it plays a key role in religious rituals, ceremonies social activities and cultural activities ranging from amateur karaoke singing to playing in a funk band or singing in a choir. People may make music as a hobby, for example in a youth orchestra, or as a professional musician or singer. Ancient Greek and Indian philosophers defined music as tones ordered horizontally as melodies and vertically as harmonies. Common sayings such as, the harmony of the spheres, and, it is music to my ears, point to the notion that music is often ordered and pleasant to, listen to. However, 20th century composer John Cage thought that any sound can be music, saying, for example, there is no noise, only sound, etymology. The word derives from Greek mu o micron upsilon sigma iota caparator. According to the online etymological dictionary, the term is derived from mid 13 c musica, from old French musique and directly from Latin musica, the art of music, also including poetry. This is derived from the Greek mausique of the muses, from femme of mausikos, pertaining to the muses, from musa, muse. Modern spelling dates from the 1630s. In classical Greece, any art in which the muses presided, but especially music and lyric poetry, as a form of art, music is composed and performed for many purposes, ranging from aesthetic pleasure, religious or ceremonial purposes, or as an entertainment product for the marketplace. When music was only available through sheet music scores, such as during the classical and romantic eras, music lovers would buy the sheet music of their favorite pieces and songs so that they could perform them at home on the piano. With the advent of sound recording, records of popular songs, rather than sheet music became the dominant way that music lovers would enjoy their favorite songs. With the advent of home tape recorders in the 1980s and digital music in the 1990s, 
music lovers could make tapes or playlists of their favorite songs and take them with them on a portable cassette player or MP3 player. Some music lovers create mixtapes of their favorite songs, which serve as a self-portrait, a gesture of friendship, prescription for an ideal party, and an environment consisting solely of what is most ardently loved. Amateur musicians compose and or perform music for their own pleasure and derive their income elsewhere. Professional musicians are employed by a range of institutions and organizations, including armed forces, churches and synagogues, symphony orchestras, broadcasting or film production companies, and music schools. Professional musicians sometimes work as freelancers or session musicians, seeking contracts and engagements in a variety of settings. There are often many links between amateur and professional musicians. Beginning amateur musicians take lessons with professional musicians in community settings. Advanced amateur musicians perform with professional musicians in a variety of ensembles such as community concert bands and community orchestras. A distinction is often made between music performed for a live audience and music that is performed in a studio so that it can be recorded and distributed through the music retail system or the broadcasting system. However, there are also many cases where a live performance in front of an audience is also recorded and distributed. Live concert recordings are popular in both classical music and in popular music forms such as rock, where illegally taped live concerts surprised by music lovers. In the jam band scene, live, improvised jam sessions are preferred to studio recordings. Composition. Composition is the actual practice of creating a work of music. In many cultures, including Western classical music, the act of composing also includes creation of an object, such as a score, which is then performed by the composer or others. In popular music and traditional music, the act of composing, which is typically called songwriting, may involve the creation of a basic outline of the song, called the lead sheet, which sets out the melody, lyrics and chord progression. In classical music, the composer typically orchestrates her own compositions, but in musical theatre and in pop music, songwriters may hire an arranger to do the orchestration. In some cases, a songwriter may not use notation at all, and instead compose the song in her mind and then play or record it from memory. In jazz and popular music, notable recordings by influential performers are given the way that written scores play in classical music. Even when music is notated relatively precisely, there are many decisions that a performer has to make because notation does not specify all of the elements of music precisely. The process of deciding how to perform music that has been previously composed and notated is termed interpretation. Different performers' interpretations of the same work of music can vary widely, in terms of the tempos that are chosen and the playing or singing style or phrasing of the melodies. Composers and songwriters who present their own music are interpreting, just as much as those who perform the music of others. The standard body of choices and techniques present at a given time and a given place is referred to as performance practice, whereas interpretation is generally used to mean the individual choices of a performer. Although a musical composition often uses musical notation and has a single author, this is not always the case. A work of music can have multiple composers, and it can also be composed with words, images, or computer programs that form a process for creating musical sounds. Examples of this range from wind chimes, to graphic notation, to text compositions such as Oz den Sieben Tagen, to computer programs that select sounds. Music that makes heavy use of randomness is called aleatoric music, and is associated with such composers as John Cage, Morton Feldman, and Witold Lutoslavsky. Study of composition has traditionally been dominated by examination of methods and practice of Western classical music. But the definition of composition is broad enough to include spontaneously improvised works like those of free jazz performers and African drummers such as the U-Drummers.
Notation Notation is the written expression of music notes and rhythms on paper using symbols. When music is written down, the pitches and rhythm of the music is notated, along with instructions on how to perform the music. The study of how to read notation involves music theory, harmony, the study of performance practice, and in some cases an understanding of historical performance methods. Written notation varies with style and period of music. Notated music is produced as sheet music. To perform music from notation requires an understanding of both the rhythmic and pitch elements embodied in the symbols and the performance practice that is associated with a piece of music or a genre. In improvisation, the performer often plays from music where only the chord changes and form of the song are written, requiring a great understanding of the music's structure, harmony and the styles of a particular genre. In Western art music, the most common types of written notation are scores, which include all the music parts of an ensemble piece, and parts which are the music notation for the individual performers or singers. In popular music, jazz, and blues, the standard musical notation is the lead sheet, which notates the melody, chords, lyrics, and structure of the music. Fake books are also used in jazz. They may consist of lead sheets or simply chord charts, which permit rhythm section members to improvise an accompaniment part to jazz songs. Scores and parts are also used in popular music and jazz, particularly in large ensembles such as jazz big bands. In popular music, guitarists and electric bass players often read music notated in tablature, which indicates the location of the notes to be played on the instrument using a diagram of the guitar or bass fingerboard. Tabulature was also used in the Baroque era to notate music for the lute, a stringed, fretted instrument. Improvisation Musical improvisation is the creation of spontaneous music, often within a pre-existing harmonic framework or chord progression. Improvisation is the act of instantaneous composition by performers, where compositional techniques are employed with or without preparation. Improvisation is a major part of some types of music, such as blues, jazz, and jazz fusion, in which instrumental performers improvise solos melody lines and accompaniment parts. In the Western art music tradition, improvisation was an important skill during the Baroque era and during the Classical era. In the Baroque era, performers improvised ornaments and basso continuo keyboard players improvised chord voicings based on figured bass notation. In the Classical era, solo performers and singers improvised virtuoso cadenzas during concerts. However, in the 20th and early 21st century, as common practice, a Western art music performance became institutionalized in symphony orchestras, opera houses and ballets. Improvisation has played a smaller role. At the same time, some modern composers have increasingly included improvisation in their creative work. In Indian classical music, improvisation is a core component and an essential criterion of performances. Theory Music theory encompasses the nature and mechanics of music. It often involves identifying patterns that govern composers' techniques and examining the language and notation of music. In a grand sense, music theory distills and analyzes the parameters or elements of music, rhythm, harmony, melody, structure, form, and texture. Broadly, music theory may include any statement, belief, or conception of or about music. People who study these properties are known as music theorists. Some have applied acoustics, human physiology, and psychology to the explanation of how and why music is perceived. Elements of music Music has many different fundamentals or elements. These are, but are not limited to, pitch, beat or pulse, rhythm, melody, harmony, texture, allocation of voices, timbre or color, expressive qualities, and form or structure. Some styles of music place an emphasis on certain of these fundamentals, while others place less emphasis on certain elements. To give one example, while bebop era jazz makes use of very complex chords, including altered dominance and challenging chord progressions, 
with chords changing two or more times per bar and keys changing several times in a tune. Funk places most of its emphasis on rhythm and groove, with entire songs based around a vamp on a single chord. To give another example, while Romantic-era classical music from the 1800s makes great use of dramatic changes of dynamics, from whispering pianissimo sections to thunderous fortissimo sections, some entire Baroque dance suites for harpsichord from the early 1700s may use a single dynamic. Pitch is a subjective sensation, reflecting generally the lowness or highness of a note. The lowest pitches are played by bass instruments such as the double bass and the rumbling, huge bass pipes of the pipe organ. The highest pitches are played by the piccolo. Rhythm is the arrangement of sounds and silences in time. Meter animates time in regular pulse groupings, called measures or bars, which often group notes into three or four note groupings. A melody is a series of notes sounding in succession, often in a rising and falling pattern. The notes of a melody are typically created with respect to pitch systems such as scales or modes. The simplest melodies in folk songs and traditional songs may use only the notes of a single scale. On the other hand, bebop era jazz from the 1940s may use melodies with many chromatic notes and unusual scales. Harmony is the study of vertical sonorities in music. Vertical sonority refers to considering the relationships between pitches that occur together, usually this means at the same time. Although harmony can also be implied by a melody that outlines a harmonic structure, notes can be arranged into different scales and modes. Western music theory generally divides the octave into a series of 12 notes that might be included in a piece of music. In music written using the system of major-minor tonality, the key of a piece determines the scale used, which centers around the home note or tonic of the key. Musical texture is the overall sound of a piece of music commonly described according to the number of and relationship between parts or lines of music. Monophony, heterophony, polyphony, homophony, or monody. Music that contains a large number of parts is generally said to have a thicker texture than a work with few parts. Timber, sometimes called color or tone color, is the quality or sound of a voice or instrument. Expressive qualities are those elements in music that create change in music that are not related to pitch, rhythm, or timber. They include dynamics and articulation. Form is a facet of music theory that explores the concept of musical syntax on a local and global level. Examples of common forms of Western music include the fugue, the invention, sonata allegro, canon, strophic, theme and variations, and rondo. Popular music often makes use of strophic form often in conjunction with 12-bar blues.